Hello and welcome to Divi Modules. My name's David. In this video, I'll be giving you a quick overview of the Divi Modules Table Maker module. In future videos, I'll go through all of the available settings, but today I just want to give you a broad picture of what this module is capable of. Divi Modules Table Maker allows you to build responsive tables directly within the Divi Builder. You can style every part of the table from table content, to column headers, column footers, row headers, row footers, and even individual table cells. Table content can include images, text, icons, buttons, iframes, and shortcodes. TableMaker tables are responsive and can be set to display as accordion at tablet and phone size. Tables are organized by columns, which can be reordered in the builder just by clicking and dragging. Clicking on a column opens up its column settings and here you can enter the column content or rows. Rows are numbered in the editor, with each number representing a single row in the table. Table columns can have multiple headers, or none, multiple footers, or none, and here you can set a maximum and minimum width for all table columns. Column width can also be set per column. Table rows can also have multiple headers, or none at all. Multiple footers, or none. And here too, you can set a maximum and minimum height for all table rows. Table responsive settings allow you to set a breakpoint at which the table will become responsive. When set to break by columns, each column in the table will become a separate block or mini table. When set to break by rows, each row in the table will become a separate block or mini table. Tables can also be set to display as accordion. When breakpoint is set to none, table scrolling can be used to prevent the table from overflowing its container. And we can enable sticky headers so that table headers remain visible at all times. Table icon settings allow you to set the default icon for the table, adjust the icon size, and colour. Table button settings allow you to set the button's default text, URL, target, width, and custom styles. Table image settings allow you to set the image quality, proportion, scale, and alignment. Many of the settings that I've just shown you are also available per column which means that you can set one style for the table as a whole and individual styles for any columns that you may wish to highlight. Under the Design tab, there are many more options for customising the table appearance. 
Tables can be framed using gaps or lines. Gaps put a space between each table cell, allowing background colours or images to show through. Lines frame each cell in a solid or decorative border. None removes all framing. Table stripes applies an alternating row effect to the table. You can set which parts of the table are affected, whether stripes are applied to odd or even rows, and adjust the stripe appearance. Table cell settings allow you to adjust the appearance of all table cells. You can set the cell colour, content alignment, and padding. You can apply rounded corners, border styles, and box shadows. Table text settings allow you to adjust the appearance of all table text. This includes all the standard Divi font settings, such as font, font weight, font style, text color, text size, letter spacing, line height, and text shadow. The remaining settings for column headers, row headers, column footers, and row footers are largely the same as those that I've just shown you for table cells and table text. However, whereas the changes we make under table cells and table text affect the whole of the table, changes we make under these settings affect only the parts of the table that their names suggest. So for example, if I wanted to change the colour of the row headers, I would go to row header cells and change that here. Further to this, all of these settings are also available per column. This high level of customization means that you can individually style almost every part of the table. This really is just scratching the surface of what can be done with this module. To find out more, please visit the website where you can see live table examples and download the documentation. Thanks for watching.